Hi Stampin' Friends, it's Chris Slogar from BuckeyeInklings.com and this was one of our Facebook Live projects this week. I just want to pull it out and make it a YouTube video so that it's easy to reference. Um, it's a cute little box. It's kind of like a little stand-up file box that holds a pocket back. So I didn't get my Christmas ones yet, um, but there's a lot of cute Christmas ones available, I've noticed. All right, so let's get started. This is really quick and easy. Um, you need a four and a half inch square of cardstock. I'm using Coastal Cabana, and you're going to um, put it on the envelope punch board with the corner at one and nine sixteenths. Okay, that just worked really well to be snug around this um, pocket back. So you, you need to go, um, past the one inch mark, past a half, and go halfway to the five eighths, okay? Nine sixteenths is not marked there, but it's just between half and five eighths, okay? So just punch and score, and then move to two and seven eighths, and punch and score. And then the rest of the way, we're just gonna follow the score lines, put the pointer on the score line, and punch and score twice on that side as well, okay? Go to the next side and line up with the score lines. Punch and score, and punch and score. When you get to the fourth side now, we are not going to score, we are simply going to punch, okay? So each time we're lining up with the score line and punching. All right, so that's that. And I'm going to, um, on, on the side where there's no score lines, okay, that's gonna be here where we don't need to um, have any score lines. That'll be the back of the box. Um, we're going to cut that tab off, okay? So just cut straight across there. You can use your trimmer if you feel more confident doing it that way. Um, but then at the bottom of what will be the bottom of the box, you're going to snip in on the score line up to the horizontal score. Make a little wedge here so those tabs close up nicely. This is all part of the box bottom. And do that on both sides. And then we're going to go ahead and burnish all of these score lines. And when you're making a 3D project, if you can if you can lay things down flat to do your attachments, um, you usually get truer dimensions. Like this, this box be kind of hard to get correct um, to get this attachment right if you're trying to build it in 3D. But if you lay it down, if you you know squash it as if you were folding the box flat and put the adhesive down while it's flat, you'll get um, truer box dimensions, okay? That'll all line up better. So I've just connected the uh, middle there and I'm going to add adhesive on the back side of the tabs as well, okay? Tuck in those tabs and fold in the box bottom. And I'm going to get in there with my bone folder and press that adhesive together. So there's the box. Then we're just going to decorate it. So I've got a piece of Let It Snow designer paper that measures one and three quarter by six. Going to add some adhesive here in the middle and just start. Um, I'm going to line up with this top edge of the front of the box and try to stay true and parallel to the box bottom. We'll almost meet the box bottom. Um, and press this down in place and then take it around to the back of the box just kind of pinching those corners tight as you go and then at the back we're going to add some adhesive and attach these um, this piece to itself in the back 
Okay, so there we have it um, pretty much decorated because of the designer paper. I've got a little length of ribbon. Um, this is nine inches of the soft curly ribbon that's real red. Love this stuff. And I'm just going to make a knot since um, this is a small project. A bow might get a little, a little too out of hand here. Trim that down. And then my tag here is from Itty Bitty Christmas. This is a great set for a lot of different greetings. Um, I'm just stamping Very Merry in real red. And I'll punch that out with one inch circle punch. And then I'm going to um, punch a one and one eighth inch scallop circle to back that with. It'll be like a matte piece there. And I'm just going to add a dimensional somewhere here and put that in place. Okay, so that's cute and easy and very quick. Now, I also like to package these. Here's some examples of my fall ones um, in a cello bag so it all holds together. And sometimes I'll add a tag. I think to this one, I will just put a two from tag on it. So um, that's the little pocket back holder. I hope you'll give it a try. It's so easy. Okay, thanks. Bye.